Okay, Doc, so what we're going to do is we're just going to make this big circle around inside of you there between you and the beach, and then swing this one right into the cradle on the first time if you guys are ready. We're ready. I'll put it down a little bit more, and uh, we're waiting on you. Copy. We'll be there shortly. Shark's up. We're ready. Let's go. Yeah, he's fine. He's just down there swimming normal, just bigger fish swimming down there deeper. Their unique approach is to use weight and momentum to swing the shark from the contender onto the mothership's cradle, like a water skier onto a beach. It's a technique that worked well with giant great whites. But with their last juvenile, named Nico, it was a nightmare. The lighter shark wouldn't swing, and Jody puts his limbs at risk by physically pulling Nico into the cradle. After watching how close that small shark came to Jody's legs and he had no way of really fending it off, uh, we realized we can't do that again. They have no idea what this young shark might do. Uh, keep dropping it, we're coming in, and we'll keep dropping it if you're ready. Yeah, you're not deep enough. Fly by, okay. only fly by. Ooh. First try, not enough momentum to put him in. Okay, boys, we're coming around in a circle, and this time we're gonna swing it into the cradle. We're swinging into the cradle this time, Doc. We're gonna come around. All right, we're ready. Okay, here we go. This time, they have a better plan B. They're actually gonna use a push pole and push the line uh, over towards the cradle to get it in the cradle this time. Okay, he's swinging pretty good right now. Whoa, thrashing around a little bit. Oh, we're definitely getting him in this time. Nice job, Chris. Pull him, pull him, Brett. Careful. Pull him. Come up, Danny. Up, up, up. Pull it. Yeah, there we go, Brett. Perfect. Wow, a little chunkier version. Very active. Don't let him through, Brett. Don't let him get through. This is likely the young shark's first experience with the full force of gravity. Wow. Keep coming. A little bit further back. They've kept giant great whites out of the sea for up to 20 minutes without harm. But with juveniles, they're not sure when time out of water becomes dangerous. Let's yeah. put a tape on it. Looks like a little female. A little, yeah. little bit of a fatter one. Yeah. Nice looking shark. So seven foot six. OK. And then on the uh, fourth measurement, six foot eight. Okay. On this expedition, the doctor has two types of tracking devices, one large and one small. Which one he uses depends on the size of the shark. We're going to put a small tag on this one. Attached to the tip of the dorsal fin, the smaller tag relays the shark's future movements. Then, after six months, the bolts will corrode and the tag falls off. The larger, long-term tag's impact on a growing fin is unknown. Dr. Domeyer is working on a design with just one bolt for juveniles. Flat lines, I like to just say PCH and Sunset Boulevard, being as that's only four tenths of a mile over there. <laughs> now it's time to draw blood. She may flinch right now, so. You going for blood, Doc? Someone just hang on the tail. Big or small, most sharks on this deck don't like what comes next. Tail down in the. Neither does this shark. You got her? Yep. Well, I got her the best I can. I mean, she is an animal that's got incredible strength. We're at six minutes out of water right now. There you go. Nice job, Doc. Come on. Later, hormonal levels will be examined. All right, we're going to call that good. From tagging to DNA to blood, every task adds vital data, creating a window into this young female's life. 